Uncover the enigma of Nicholas Copernicus, the Renaissance-era polymath who revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. Born on February 19, 1473, in the city of Torun, located in the Royal Prussia region of the Kingdom of Poland, Copernicus was the youngest of four children. His father was a wealthy merchant, while his mother originated from a respected family of local merchants. His father's premature death left the young Nicholas under the tutelage of his maternal uncle, who was a bishop. This led to an introduction of a religious life at a young age, and eventually, a chance to study in some of the finest institutions in Europe. Nicholas Copernicus had a wide array of interests. Equipped with a curious mind and an undying thirst for knowledge, Copernicus soaked in information from various fields. He studied canon law, medicine, Greek, mathematics and astronomy during his years at university. Each subject he mastered endowed him with the tools he needed to make his groundbreaking discovery. However, his true passion lay in the mysteries of the cosmos. As a child, he would often gaze at the night sky, marveling at the dazzling display of stars and the other celestial bodies. His fascination with the heavens had sown the seeds of curiosity that would later bloom into a full-fledged dedication to uncovering the secrets of the universe. Copernicus's scientific observations questioned the geocentric model of the universe, which had been universally accepted since the times of Ptolemy. This model placed the Earth at the center of the universe, with all other celestial bodies revolving around it. But after years of diligent observation and careful thought, Copernicus proposed a radically different concept, the heliocentric model. This model claimed that the Sun was the center of the universe, Earth and the other planets revolved around it. This proposed model faced intense opposition from religious and scientific communities alike. The concept that Earth was not the center of the universe was sacrilegious and heretical in the eyes of the Church. It was also a profound shift from the traditional scientific understanding at that time. Despite the intense scrutiny and opposition, Copernicus stood by his theory. He continued to gather evidence to support his heliocentric model until he was eventually able to convince some of his contemporaries. The publication of his book, De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium, on the revolutions of the celestial spheres, just before his death in 1543, was a testament to his unwavering dedication and belief in his groundbreaking theory. Copernicus's heliocentric model might have taken years to gain acceptance, but it fundamentally altered our perception of the universe. It was a daring leap of thought that challenged the preconceived notions of the cosmos and ushered in a new era of scientific inquiry. Indeed, Copernicus's contribution to science and his courage to stand against the tide are reasons enough to call him a true revolutionary.